So we've been out here today learning the basics in four-wheel driving, techniques with cars, driver, and putting the two together. We're not going to give the car any momentum today because we're just going to crawl at everything actually make the car do the job. So the course covers all the basic aspects, understanding how you set the vehicle up, tyre pressures, range of gear, high range, low range, identifying the tracks you drive on, where you've got to place your wheels, entry points, exit points, it covers all those key things. All right, we're going to start doing some driving. I was nervous this morning. I started the day as a passenger. Once I was behind the wheel, I was much more comfortable. Just don't panic. Lots of times that you know we kind of panic and, and put on the brakes, you know, instead just learning that hey, you know, that's not necessarily what you need to do. Just keep pushing through and the car do the work. If you're looking to do this sort of thing, maybe just not having the confidence in yourself because you haven't done anything like this before, regardless of your skill level, you're gonna learn some things here. What's the next step to get out? Clearing. That's it, using the shovel. Four-wheel driver's best friend, that can do a lot of work. If there's any other nicks and abrasions and cuts on a strap, where well, you shouldn't be using it anyway. I thought the hierarchy of recovery was really interesting. It's pretty common, like you'll see people just defaulting straight to a snatch trap, which isn't normally the safest way to be doing things. Definitely underestimated the power of a shovel. Press the hill descent button. When the car takes over, you'll feel the brakes come on. So you just take your foot off the pedal. So is that all motor car? Yes, it was. He's right, it's a weird feeling I think you put on the brake. I grew up full driving and camping, but I'm normally the passenger, not the driver. So it was really cool to have the opportunity to get behind the wheel and do some stuff that I wouldn't have normally been confident to do. Do you think you'll be fighting for the driver's seat a little bit more after today? Absolutely. I'll be taking all the tracks on first. In a gear, at a speed, maintain traction. Courses like these are important because when you're off-roading, you're you know, on holiday, you're on an adventure, you're seeing parts of Australia that are off the beaten track, perhaps nowhere near help. So it's great to equip yourself with whatever you can to make sure that you have the best time possible in the safest possible way.